Hey everyone, my name is Tim with Razorback Off-Road, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install our newly redesigned Universal Tool Mount. In case you don't know what the Universal Tool Mount is, basically it's a bracket that we make that allows you to mount tools such as a shovel, pickaxe, or just a normal axe to any flat surface. But I've got our Commander XT with our Expedition Rack on the back, so we're going to be utilizing the It Fits mounting system, which is proprietary to us and it allows you to mount anything and know that it's going to work the first time without redrilling holes or making it work. It just fits. So, first off, let's go through the parts and the tools needed before doing the install. Okay, so I've got everything taken out of the box and organized here in front of me just to make the job a bit easier. And this is a very simple install. I've actually got two wrenches with me, a 3 8 and a 7 16 I've got the ratcheting kind just to make my job a little bit easier, but you could also use power tools as well. Just be very careful if you're using high powered impacts, you don't want to snap a bolt or anything like that. But I will be using those to really snug up these bolts because I don't want it to come loose on the trail. We include everything in the kit that you're going to need to mount this system to one of our racks using the it fit system. So that is 10 different types or 10 bolts, excuse me. You're going to have short ones and long ones. And the long ones are going to be very apparent where these go in just a moment. But all those bolts are 3 8 And we also have 10 of the flanged nylock locking nuts here. And those are all 7 16 one of the major differences with the redesigned universal tool mount is that now we include different size brackets, small, medium, and large. With newer machines and newer types of tools, customer feedback, things like that, is that there needs to be a lot more adjustability in the tool mount itself. Machines are getting wider, more flared fender work, things like that, and we want you to be able to change the angle and really have that adjustability and fine tune what you're mounting and what machine you're mounting it to to make sure that you're not damaging the body work or that it's going to fit around however you want to mount it. So also included is two quick fists, pretty standard style there, and the redesigned plate itself. It's a little bit taller, optimized bolt pattern based on feedback, and also it has these cutouts on the side for bungee cords. And just like the previous one, you've got the four it fits mounts, both horizontal and vertically. So the, like I said, the install is very, very easy, but I'm gonna start by mounting the plate to the machine first, instead of trying to fumble around with everything on the bench. It's also really important to try to get this plate on there and plan out what you plan on mounting to this and where you want everything located. That way you can choose the correct brackets. So let's go to the machine and start planning that out. Okay, so I've got the Commander and the Expedition rack here. And I mentioned that it has the It Fits system, just like the rest of our racks. And that's gonna be this row of bolt patterns here that line up with the Universal Tool Mount and a, a bunch of other mounts, such as like our Rotopax mount or the Spare Tire mount. And basically it just allows you to mount things to the rack and know it's going to work every single time it fits without drilling new holes or marking things out or guesswork or anything like that. And the nice thing is that since we give you eight different holes on here is that it could both mount vertically or horizontally. Now I've got one of our shovels and that's what I plan on mounting to this. So I'm gonna go vertically just because I don't want that shovel to rattle out. Um, it also has one of our collars on it that uh, specifically fits into the quick fist and I'll show you that in a moment. But I think I'm going to choose this last set of holes here and just push it all the way towards the back because I plan on putting a Rotopax mount here on the front portion of the Expedition. So I'm gonna grab the hardware and get that bolted up to the back end. Okay, so for this first part, just to get the mount onto the machine, I'm going to need four of the short bolts and four of those nylock nuts. And then I'm going to grab both my 3 8 and a 7 16 wrench. One of the nice things about the Commander is that it has a tailgate. So I'm gonna use that as a little makeshift workbench just to keep these things a bit closer. So I'm gonna grab my plate and one of those short bolts and I'm gonna put it in one of the top holes. That'll help, just help support it and make my job a little bit easier line up my mounting holes. And like I said, there's no drilling or marking or anything like that because we're using one of our racks. Hold that with my left hand and then I'm going to take one of the locking nuts and just get that finger tight and started on the inside. So now that it's supported just a little bit, grab a second one, slide that bolt in and same thing. I'm just gonna get that finger tight, just started. We'll snug these up here in a moment. 
And now I can actually let go of the plate and it's gonna hang onto it. So I'll grab my last two and get those started. Okay, so now that I've got everything finger tight, I'm gonna grab my two wrenches and we're just gonna snug those up. Okay, so now that I've got that nice and snug, it's not going anywhere and it's exactly where I want it. I'm gonna grab our shovel and just kind of hold it up there, mock it up, and then that'll tell me what size brackets I need so that I can clear this really wide body work of the commander and then also how high I want it so that the shovel's not sticking up too high. So I'm gonna grab that and let's check it out. Okay, so I've got our shovel here and basically, I wanna make sure that this is not going to clip anything while going down the trail, and also so that it's not going to wiggle itself out. And so depending on what you're mounting to this system, just try to plan ahead and mount it so that it's safe and secure, but it's also easily accessible because this is the whole reason why we're mounting it to the side of the commander in the first place. So ours has a little collar here to make sure it's not gonna slide down through that quick fist. So I do wanna make sure there's enough room for that. And then also the bodywork of the commander is really wide, which looks amazing, but with a lot of mounting systems, that means that the handle is going to be running into that plastic. But it looks like I can actually use the bottom hole on this mounting system here to get the head of the shovel down as low as possible. And maybe the short bracket at the top and the tall bracket at the bottom. I think that'll give me enough clearance. So I'm gonna grab that, the rest of the hardware, build those up and we'll see how it works. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the short bracket, one of these, and one of the tall brackets, and we're gonna build up with the quick fist inside of that. And I said it's gonna be very apparent on where these long bolts go, and they actually go through the quick fist. It's the only ones that'll fit, so can't really mess that one up. One of the tips too is to make sure that you put the mounting bolt through the bottom of the short one, which is one of these short bolts, before you try to attach the quick fist because otherwise if you put the quick fist in first there won't be enough room to get that mounting bolt underneath so in order to mount the rubber portion to the bracket we're just going to take one of the long bolts slide that through pop it out and then on the other side we're just going to finger tight one of those nylocking nuts do that again and then the same thing with one of the tall brackets When you're done putting the bolts through the tall one, you're gonna take your short bolt and then slide that into the base. But there's a lot more room, so you could do it after the fact. Now we're gonna take both of these brackets, the rest of our hardware, two wrenches, and go back to the machine. Okay, so I'm gonna set my tall bracket there and just hang on to the short one, which since we already planned this out, I already know that I'm going to use this bottom hole on the bracket to put the short bracket through. Your machine may be completely different, but that's why it's so important to plan ahead, know what you're going to mount this and how you're going to use it, just so you know which size brackets to grab and where you're going to mount it on the universal tool mounts itself. So I'm gonna take that short bolt, that stud that we've created, pop it through the hole, grab one of our last nylocking locking nuts. And again, we're just gonna get that started on the backside, finger tight and let it hang down. And finally, we're gonna do the same thing with the tall one, except tip of the day, just make sure you hold on to the inside, otherwise that nut's gonna pop, or that bolt is gonna pop right back out. I'm gonna go on to the bottom one again. Last nut. Finger tight that part. And then just let it hang. Okay, I got those finger tight. So now I'm going to grab my two wrenches and actually get those tightened down. But I also wanna make sure the orientation of my quick fists are correct. I like to have it so that the strap is leading back towards the rear of the machine. That way, if something comes by a branch or a tree or anything like that, it doesn't snag it, open it up, and then whatever I have secured to it wants to fall off. So it's gonna make sure those are secured correctly. Grab my two wrenches. And another tip is that if you have maybe a little bit of a thicker wrench or something like that, or you've already tightened these guys down, it may be difficult to actually get this wrench inside of here. And that's one of the reasons why I only finger tightened the quick fist bolts itself on the bench so that I know that when I 
put my wrench in there, it's going to fit and that bracket hasn't squeezed down at all. So we're gonna tighten this guy up, then we'll go back through and tighten the quick fist. Now that I've got both of these brackets tightened down and they're not going anywhere, and I also don't have to worry about trying to fit one of my wrenches inside that bracket, we're just gonna snug these up a little bit. You don't need to wrench them down too much and actually bend that bracket, especially with the nylock nuts. Those will keep them secure, but you just want them a little tighter than finger tight so that they're not gonna go anywhere. Those feel pretty good. So now I'm gonna grab my shovel and let's see how we did. So like I said earlier, we're just playing this out with the head of the shovel going upwards. With our shovel specifically, we actually have a collar on here and that allows it to lock into those bolts of the quick fist, make sure it's not going to rotate or wanna slide down through the mounts themselves. So I'm gonna pop this into our top one and the bottom one. These quick fist mounts really make it a lot easier. Strap that down and I can come back through and tighten that up a little bit if I need to. That's looking pretty good. You can see it's not going anywhere. But my biggest concern, which is really one of the big differences with this mount, is clearing the bodywork and not sticking up too high. And you can see here, I've got plenty of room there on the bottom, plenty of room in between the rack itself, and it's not sticking up too high. So I think we nailed exactly what size brackets we needed and what bolt holes that we wanted. And that's why we include so many different types here to really give you that fine tune adjustment no matter what tool you want to mount it to or to what rack and what machine. Just helps out quite a bit with that. Awesome. So I'm pretty happy with that. And I think I'm just about ready to hit the trail. But just like a couple of things to consider before you head on out. Depending on what you're mounting here, just make sure that you have it oriented correctly so it's not going to slide down and then pop out. Or even if you rotate it sideways and mount it this way, same thing, it's not going to get snagged on anything and it pushed through the quick fist mounts or with the vibration these machines make, it's not gonna to wanna to slide out. So just think about it, plan ahead, make sure your straps are going in the correct direction. And I think that's about it. Okay, so that's gonna wrap up the installation video for the universal tool mount. I'm gonna mount a couple more things to the expedition rack before taking the commander outside. But I really hope that you found this video informative. If you have any more questions, please give us a call, write us an email, or go to razorbackoffroad.com. You can see the full lineup of our product or get more information about the universal tool mount. My name's Tim, and I'll see you on the trail.